Hello everyone, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today for our graduate open event at the Bartlett School of Sustainable Construction here at UCL. This evening's event is about our brand new course, the MBA in Major Infrastructure Delivery. And we're very happy to have the program director here with us, Dr. Juliana Denicol, who will be here to give you a brief overview of the MBA and answer all of your questions. So while the presentation is going on, if you have any particular questions in mind, please feel very free to drop them in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. Alternatively, if you want to wait till after presentation and raise your hand and speak to Dr. Denikal directly, you're very welcome to. My name is Chisaba, I'm the communications manager and um, we'll be here to make sure you get as much as possible out of today's event. Um, as you have heard, the record this is being recorded and will be available in the future as an on-demand video. So uh, without further ado, I'll hand over to Dr. Denica. Good evening, everyone, um, and welcome to our session on the MBA in Major Infrastructure Delivery. I'm Giuliano Denico. I'm the program director for this MBA program. I'm also an associate professor here at the school in mega project management and the director of the mega project delivery center. So this MBA is all about leadership and management. So we are on a mission to develop the next generation of major infrastructure leaders. And we are building this program um, on the experiences and the richness of the UK's major and mega projects um, as we can see uh, in the screen. So going from Heathrow Terminal 5, London Olympics, uh, Crossrail, Tamstide Tunnel, High Speed 2, we have a plurality of um, examples in the UK, but this is a global course. We're building upon the UK's experiences, but we have global case studies to deliver infrastructure in multiple countries. As we know, this is um, very, very different to deliver infrastructure in Brazil, India, the UK. So this is a global program building upon and exploiting the richness that we have in the UK. So this is designed to equip executives uh, with innovative management and leadership practices. So we see several challenges in major infrastructure projects, several technological silos, but we also see performance improvements and a lot of potential in terms of integration and coordination of different moving parts at different phases of these programs. So we emphasize management and leadership practices here. This program was developed over the last three years in strong consultation with industry and academia. We have a constellation of um, executives as part of our external advisory board, chaired by Professor uh, Peter Hansford, who, who was the um, chief executive, um, chief construction advisor for the UK government working at the executive level on different initiatives uh, in the UK to set leadership um, platforms to, to, the, to move industry forward and develop the next generation. And we also consulted with a range of executives across multiple programs. And I'm sure you can uh, explore further in our website and we have a fantastic video with all of them providing insights, right? The MBA is designed for executives working full time uh, in the delivery of major projects uh, globally. The course is structured in a part time basis with people coming to London for the um, lectures and classes. The cohort that we are uh, designing and building to, um, in London is up to 35 executives on a global audience. So we'll have people from different parts and different geographies joining us and sharing. Uh, experiences very much on the basis of the programs they are delivering uh, across the world. Um, the MBA students are required to be in London uh, for in-person modules in five periods uh, of nine days over those two years. So very much addressing the full-time requirements of people working uh, in, in busy programs. And each period of nine days will happen from Saturday morning to the end of Sunday of the subsequent week. So the students 
um, are required to take eight compulsory modules and a dissertation. That's the full structure of the MBA, and the dissertation works uh, very much as a management consultancy project, building upon um, the scientific um, literature, of course, and, and on the frameworks and the leadership that we are bringing together uh, on the program. But we emphasize the applied nature of this dissertation as a piece of advice, management advice to, to an organization. Um, our classes in London and all the modules are structured on uh, the basis of case studies. Uh, we are very much aligned with the Harvard methodology for case-based teaching. So the experience that people bring to London is super important. So we have a global audience of executives sharing knowledge and debating, defending positions on management and leadership practices for uh, infrastructure programs. So the richness is also part of the cohorts. We are being very careful with the composition and the diversity of thinking in this cohort of executives. Um, as mentioned, we are very much building upon the, the richness of, of the UK in this uh, environment. So we are exposing the cohort of executives to senior leaders in uh, leadership positions of CEOs, uh, managing directors, program directors, so the positions that whoever is attending this program will be aspiring to be in, in the future. So th there is a sense of the ones in position now sharing lessons and part of the cohort uh, learning and discussing together if it was making decision um, today. And that exposure is super important to create this uh, awareness and also the interaction between theory, science, and the practical applications of the thinking that's being discussed in class. In terms of the structure of the MBA, we have eight modules, and they happen in pairs. So every time you come to London, you will be um, um, learning two modules um, over that week, so that period of nine days. So essentially, we have modules um, one and two being delivered in the first period. And the first module is on um, infrastructure policy and markets and the whole anatomy of major projects and where they are delivered the institutional connections and how major projects might be delivered in different geographies according to different structures. So the whole understanding of the institutional environment and also the main features that major projects uh, are playing and that managers need to address such as scale, complexity, uncertainties in all the different dimensions that play um, a strong emphasis on, on the delivery of major projects. Um, the second module, M2, is about managing economic and financial risks. And here we are very much on micro and macroeconomics and the business cases and the evolution of that business case over time. So if you're a program director, um, what are the levers that you can play with that business case that was perhaps developed um, many years ago? And it is evolving across different phases of the program and decisions um, will be made according to that particular business case and impact the financial performance of the organization, of the infrastructure organization uh, going forward. Um, modules three and four, we have um, governance and assurance. So very much the uh, roles, responsibilities, the delegation of authority, structuring uh, different uh, multi-level governance structures between clients, delivery partners, the supply chains, the tier ones, and the external environment as well with governments and, and, and regulators. So governance and assurance play in this um, role of clarity in terms of uh, boards and panels and investment committees and the whole composition of how do we navigate this complexity to make decisions as we are delivering major projects. Um, M4 on designing client organizations and corporate strategies. So very much from an organizational uh, design perspective. So how do we put in place the structures and the processes, the capabilities of organizations um, to deliver such complex programs? So how do we make sure that the organizations uh, being suggested and structured are fit for purpose? How do we um, address the issue of matching complexity, matching the uh, structural complexity that we have in those programs? And how do we perhaps 
Horizon scan those organizations over time to build capabilities at different stages and how do we anticipate the need for certain capabilities. Um, here we are also exploring the, the type of clients that we want to, uh, to be and how our relationships with the supply chain and external environment and governments might influence our decisions of in-house versus um, external capabilities. M5 and M6, we have in module five, procuring and integrating the supply chain. So here it's all about uh, procurement strategies, delivery models, integrated project teams, and the whole um, structure between client organizations, JDs, and the supply chain. So how do we make sure we are delivering this program from a systems perspective in an inter-organizational environment? Yeah, and how do we um, perhaps build supply chains that are also fit for purpose. And, and here we are emphasizing uh, capacity and capability. So do we have enough capacity in the market to address that particular issue? Do we have the know-how, the capabilities from, from the supply chain? Where is that capability located across different tiers? And, and how does that um, integrate according to, to the client's requirements and the sponsor's um, agreements? And, and that goes into the decision making of procurement strategies, but later on in terms of integration of those multiple uh, contracts and interfaces until you hand it over to the owners and, and operators later on. Module six, we have uh, leadership uh, in a nutshell, um, building, development, developing and leading teams. So very much the perspective of the mega project leader and future program directors, future CEOs of mega projects. So how um, behaviors are considered and how do you lead teams and team of teams internally and also uh, across organizational boundaries. So what, what, what's the meaning of leadership for a senior uh, program director or a CEO who will be empowering different teams across mult multiple levels and layers uh, to actually deliver the whole system. So the, the understanding and the, the, the composition of such behaviors internally and, and also uh, across JVs, across tier ones, it's, it's super important here. And the understanding of, of the leader, the self-understanding behaviors and the impact that we have uh, as, as individuals and the senior leaders will have across the teams and, and wider organizations. M7 and M8, so two last modules here, uh, controlling information and systems in module seven. Uh, here we are very much discussing the in integrated uh, management systems of, of organizations. So what are the, the data architectures that we need uh, flowing from the supply chain, flowing from different uh, partners and different streams of data, different um, configurations of information that will be part of the information management systems that clients might activate. And what are the tools, what, what information do we need in that system and what are the tools that we will use analytically to draw um, business intelligence out of that. So it's information uh, from a technical perspective, of course, and, and bottom up on how the project, uh, projects are being delivered across multiple sites, but actually, from a corporate perspective, there will be a central intellectual capital or uh, inter-organizational brain uh, that will be activated um, upon information. And that's a rich source of um, information for decisions. So there's a question of how do we structure that and activate the, the knowledge later on. And finally, managing stakeholders and creating value. Here we are talking about the impact that major projects have in local communities and the wider uh, society, and how do we work with them? How do we consult different parts across the value chain, externally and internally, um, to build the right value proposition and ensure that we are delivering something that is mutually beneficial for, for all parts. And there is an important part here about sustainability as well. So increasingly, we need to focus on that particular aspect of carbon and how do we make such decisions to drive environmental value as well. In terms of the structure of the MBA, we start in October of year one. So we come 
to London for modules one and two. We come back again in February, May, and next October for the next module. So that's four periods in London and the next year on dissertations that's conducted um, overseas. And there's a fifth period in London in May where students come back and there is an interaction for dissertations. We are also very much here emphasizing the interaction of cohorts. So year one cohort in dark blue will interact with year two in orange in several aspects. And there will be networking opportunities to build that infrastructure network um, for life. And we see a significant value in terms of bringing together different cohorts and sharing experiences and, and one acting uh, as members of the others. And that infrastructure network will be activated in different parts of, of the program. So in October, uh, cohort one will meet the next cohort. And then when people come back in, in London for dissertations in May of the second year, there will be another uh, overlap with the, the next cohort. Importantly, this program will be delivered in the brand new UCL East campus and we are situated within the Olympic Park. So it's a fantastic story of learning how to uh, deliver major infrastructure projects from within the legacy of the London Olympics, uh, which was uh, a mega project in London, um, successfully delivered in, in terms of many aspects of the program. So we see this as part of the London Olympics legacy as well. And we are very much building upon this legacy to inform the next generation of management and leadership practices going forward. So it's we're quite excited with this uh, new campus. Um, we are on the building uh, on your right and a few pictures of the building over here. There is a fantastic executive venue, state-of-the-art facilities on uh, lecture theaters for interactions and we are very much uh, looking forward to welcoming the, the first cohort of the MBA program in 23. And lastly, I want to emphasize that this program is very much built on peer-to-peer -peer learning. So the experience that people bring to the program is also very important because we are aiming for this global cohort of executives to share lessons and learn from one another in terms of case studies and discussions. It's built on science, but it's very much on applications and we want decisions to be made in real life, in real terms. And our laboratory is the, the case study discussion uh, during the courses. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that was a great overview and an introduction to the course. Uh, like we said earlier, if you have any questions for Dr. Denikar, please do put them in the queue and a um, function at the bottom of the screen and he will answer them. That's uh, why we're here. Uh, don't be shy. This is the whole purpose of the evening. And while we're waiting for any questions to come in, um, could I ask what is quite a popular pre-asked question, which is when the applications come to your desk, what are you looking for in a personal statement? So as mentioned, this program is built based on the experiences of um, future program directors and, and CEOs. So we are very careful in the composition of the cohort. So we, we are looking for uh, the academic background, the rationale, your experience in managing uh, large teams, your experience as a senior leader, senior manager in industry, and how you are progressing to the next stage of your career. So we're looking for your previous experience and the ambition of where you want to be, the trajectory. So we are assessing that and also the, the rationale and why you want to come to UCL, why this particular course all of that is part of your personal statement and, and it's taken in consideration. Thank you. And because this is a, a brand new course and so innovative, um, and I know you've spoken about it at the beginning of your presentation, but what makes this MBA stand out amongst um, similar courses worldwide or is there even a course similar worldwide? 
think the, the MBA uh, pushes the boundaries of management and leadership uh, in the particular context of infrastructure. So we see uh, several um, programs in generic terms addressing management and leadership, but this program has the context of infrastructure in all modules. It's not a path uh, at the end that you select on particular streams in, in management and leadership. It's all the modules are built with the purpose of looking at infrastructure from that particular strategic level and enacting leaders to enabling leaders to to enact change later on in management and leadership. There is um, a question that popped up on um, our, twi our Twitter feed recently, which is uh, what kind of industry do you think um, the students would be coming from? How wide is that pool? So we are expecting students to be from all sectors, um, all infrastructure sectors, so energy, transportation, and, and we see them going to different careers later on. So infrastructure agencies, um, client organizations living big programs in different geographies, um, management consultancies, engineering consultancies, program management consultancies. So we see a variety of different roles that could be uh, taken later on, but we are expecting people coming from um, the delivery of major programs, uh, major infrastructure programs globally, uh, the ones that are actually moving out of technological or silos or perhaps uh, functions uh, within infrastructure organizations. And they are taking up, they are aspiring to be in a position of looking more holistically to the whole system. So the forest and the composition of different trees and the interdependencies and the challenges around that. So how do we manage different uh, integration according to different needs uh, in terms of specific silos? And something that caught my mind when you're talking about what the years would look like is the networking aspect. Uh, what should, would the students be looking forward to gain through those networking interactions as part of their MBA? I think the networking part is crucial and, and we are very, being very careful while actually in the composition in the first place of your own cohort, but actually we want to am amplify that as much as we can. Understanding that this program is designed for full-time exact, um, executives working full-time and that when you're coming to London, we will amplify that with events, with other cohorts, but also with the network of senior leaders and partners that we have in London and the wider UK perspective. Also important to, to highlight that although this is based in London, within the Olympic Park, uh, the composition of our speakers and, and the proposition of bringing the best minds in, in academia and industry together uh, in infrastructure, it's very much from a global perspective. So this is a global challenge. There is a global infrastructure gap to be addressed, and, and we need to improve performance uh, urgently, uh, particularly in, in light of climate change and our uh, grand challenges. So we have a very clear mission to address the global infrastructure gap, building upon uh, these networking effect and amplifying the, the learning and the sharing of lessons from this program. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Denico. I think those are our questions for this session. Um, any words you have to wrap up in closing? We are very much looking forward to welcoming the first cohort in London, and we do believe this program will have significant uh, effects to, to this infrastructure gap uh, globally. So we are very much looking forward to building the, the structures and the networking uh, perspectives behind the course, uh, beyond the, the content and the fantastic uh, industry and policymaking perspectives that we are including into this. So we, we are building the content and the structures for the next generation of infrastructure leaders. And what I'm just putting now in the chat is the link to the course prospectus, which will give you all the details you need and how to apply. Oh, I do believe we might have, um, oh, we've got a thank you. Thank you very much, much appreciated. So we've put the link in there. And on that page, not only will you find the full details of the course, there's also um, an email address to our dedicated Bartlett admissions team, 
who will be on hand to answer any questions you may have about the application process in applying for this MBA. Thank you for spending your time with us and thank you very much, Dr. Denikar. And I wish everyone a good rest of the day, wherever you are.